This is Chef Walter Stape. Today, I'm cooking with superfoods. Superfoods are ingredients that have been scientifically proven to improve your health, and in many instances, reverse illnesses. They're easy to find and use and delicious. My recipes are fast, easy, and heart healthy. Eating well is not about avoiding foods. It's about eating the right foods. So join me in cooking with superfoods. And today I'm featuring turkey in three different variations. An easy wrap for somebody can make anytime, quick for the kids for school. A more complicated little bit of a kebab with lemongrass, a little different flavor. And a turkey goulard that I'm stuffing with, uh, obviously, what other than heart healthy, spinach. So let me get started right away. I have a pot on the fire already, getting nice and hot. I have my olive oil, another superfood, right in there. The olive oil in it. Nice and hot. I gotta chop a quick onion in there. A quick onion chopped. Here we go. And we make this a coarse chop for this one. All right. Onion goes in. A little bit of garlic, rough chopped. All right, in the pot it goes. Here we go. Spinach on top. And all we're gonna let this wilt. And this later becomes the stuffing for this, uh, not complicated, but little unique recipe that includes uh, what you call it, a turkey roulade. You'll see it in a bit. So here we go. A little pepper on here. As you know, spinach is high in potassium and magnesium. So, and lowers blood pressure. And that's why you see me incorporating spinach in most all of my recipes, if you have noticed it already. Because I love it, it's easy to cook with. And look how nice. Also, you can buy spinach completely washed in every grocery store now in the bag, so it's not like the old days that you had to get all the sand out of it. Here we go. We let this, uh, let this just cook and set it aside. You notice, no salt, and I use any butter. Just a little bit of olive oil I used in there, so it's perfect. Because we're cooking heart healthy and it's all about superfoods today. So we're just gonna melt it down. Now, if you have a different taste palette, what's really nice in there, and I do it sometimes, but it's not healthy, is anchovies. The reason anchovy has a lot of salt, because they're salt packed. So I leave the anchovy out. But I find this recipe doesn't need anything else than just I'm making it. The spinach, by the way, when you cook it, we call it in the French cooking terms, uh, en branche, means in a leaf because I don't want to cook it more, and I also would never would use uh, any frozen spinach out of the uh, freezer pack for that, never. Because you want the spinach just like I have it here. Put it in my bowl, there we go. And let it sit aside. But you noticed, you noticed again, no liquid in there. Just really beautiful, just like that. All right. I have some uh, yams that I have on the fire for a little bit of time. I want to get them out of the way too. This is for the same recipe. You gotta bear with me a little bit. I'm moving a little bit back and forth because it's a three complicated recipes, but bear with me, you'll see it. So this one over here, I'll have a little uh, strainer set aside here. Okay. Strain the excess liquid of my yam. Sweet potatoes, by the way. I don't think you can find anything that's much more heart healthy than that. And I'm also being, I'm going very cognizant of the fact that I'm putting no cream in there, just a little bit of skin milk, just a tad. Sweet potato is an excellent substitute for white potatoes when I use it. So now what I put in there, I have a little bit of ginger, a little bit of ginger. I have a little bit of brown sugar, I admit to it. A little brown sugar, 
Mix it good. A little brown sugar. And nutmeg. Good amount of nutmeg. Nutmeg is very important for this recipe. There's a lot of flavor into it and a little bit of pepper coming into it. All right. So now we're going to just mix it up good. I don't want it completely, I want to smash, but I want to have a little bit of the, of the potato texture left on it, the sweet potatoes, just about like so. Now, if you would, you would cream in there, obviously you ruin your, your diet, but you could. I mean, you don't have to use the skin milk like I'm doing here. And I'm going to taste them, make sure I have enough ginger in it. And then I put a little bit of pepper, not a lot, a little bit of pepper in there and Beautiful. Mmm. I'm thinking it's Thanksgiving. <laughs> the ginger and the brown sugar just brings it over the top. Perfect. I let it set aside. Just like I said, maybe a little bit of pepper. And and by the way, don't wait until Thanksgiving to eat turkey. Turkey anytime. Turkey is very good for you. All right, this is done. Let's set it to the side. Now let me get started on my kebab. Now this is an interesting thing. The thing you want to do, also look for product that already gives you a head start. Head start meaning the turkey that I'm using. This turkey that I'm using today is uh, a turkey which is 99% fat free and 50% less sodium than any other turkey you can buy. So therefore it's a very important turkey. What I do is I'm gonna cut a big slice. So if you go to the deli, you tell your deli guy, you hear this guy talking about a turkey that is so lean and it's so fat free, cut you a couple of slices. And you wanna cut a slice like this big. Then what you're gonna do, you're gonna take it and you make big chunks. And quite frankly, all you're gonna do basically, they're like one, two, three, here we go. You gotta make sure you insist at your butcher for low sodium because a lot of the processed meats, that's why you don't see us using a lot, a lot of the processed meats uses sodium as a preservative and this you don't want in your diet. So I'm this off to the side. Here we go. One, two, three, one, two, three. It's like a Lego set. Have your kids help making that. All right. There we go. So now I'll do, I have a red pepper yellow pepper, I have some red onions. The red onions you just want to cut quick. And there you want to be generous, like so. The peppers you just go down and like so. There we go. And the red pepper, same thing. Big chunks on that. You're going to see in the end why. You want to make this very pretty. I have some nice skewers. You don't have to have those kind of skewers but I just like them better than bamboo scores. I just put the, the peppers, I put the onions in there, a big chunk, and explain to you in a moment why. Now, if you would use bamboo scores and you put it on the grill later, make sure you soak them in water so they don't get, uh, they don't burn up on you. So just like that. And here, one more on top here. And there we go. We'll make one more. It's easy. Look at it. You can also make this a different cube if you like it. I like it uh, this way. You're going to see in a moment why when I put it on the grill. So any pepper goes in here. Red pepper, pepper. Another piece of uh, turkey in here. Another piece of onion in here. And there we go. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Now comes the important part of this recipe. I have sour cream here. I happen to like low-fat sour cream. It works extremely well. Could you use something else? Yes, you could. Could you use yogurt? Yes, you could. Sour cream I like. So a little sour cream in my bowl. The trick is again, I call it, it's a lemongrass kebab. Now, if you find in the market a fresh stack of lemongrass, you can use the score uh, instead of a metal score, the lemongrass, but difficult to find. Then I use the lemongrass in the tube. Again, as I explained to you, yes, it's expensive, but it lasts for a long time. I need very little. Put lemongrass in here, and then I put a little bit of lemongrass, 
dried lemongrass. Just a little bit. Be very careful on it, otherwise it's going to taste like you have aqua velva in your food, which you don't really want. A little bit of ginger first. Ginger and lemongrass is the ideal substitute for salt. And if you watch what I'm doing with no salt and no butter, I'm still bringing you flavor. Now this is important. When you use that, use very little because it's very powerful, just a little. This is dried lemongrass you can buy in most stores like that. Now comes a little low sodium soy, low sodium soy, and then comes a little bit of uh, pansu, which is a combination of soy and a bit of orange, like so, and a little bit of vinegar, a little bit of vinegar, and a touch of olive oil, which the olive oil will act like a little, uh, binder, like so, and my whisk is over here, now I whisk that over, oh, the flavor that comes out of that is so unbelievable, all right, now I have vinegar there already and I have the pansu which uses a bit of, a bit of orange, I still want to put a little bit of uh, lime juice in there, not a lot needed, but a little bit of lime. And then I want to give this a try. Oh, it's unbelievable. So now what I do, I put this over the kebab. You want to put this in your refrigerator. I would say three, four hours might be good. The reason I want to marinate it is because I want to get the flavor penetrating the already processed turkey breast. I'm making this very easy for you. If you would do the same recipe and buy fresh turkey breast, you're talking a long cooking time. This one doesn't need it. Also, you have hard to find a product as good as this one. Difficult. The next one is another processed turkey. This happens to be a gourmet light turkey breast. Again, very, very light in any calories, almost 98% uh, fat free. When you make this dish, tell your butcher, the, uh, the deli guy, to cut it in, in slice like about so. And the reason this, I made this dish to begin with it was an easy way for somebody to celebrate Thanksgiving without uh, having to roast the whole turkey. So I cut the slices, I make three slices right now. Like, you wanna cut them thin enough, but enough to roll them. There we go. Turkey, as you know, is one of the leanest meats in the world. The spinach I have, I told you earlier, you wanna make the spinach nice so it holds in it. And you see how easy I cooked it, I put nothing else into it. Uh, some people say bacon is good. Yeah, it is good. And a little bit of bacon won't hurt you. I have recipes coming up with that, but it's perfectly like so. Now what I'll do, I roll them. Just make a little roll here like that. Look at that. And then I'm setting it in this pan over here that I have set aside. Very simple, very easy. Nothing to it. There we go. Turkey has B vitamins that help with energy. I don't think anybody will ever second guess why I use so much turkey, because turkey is good. Now I have a little turkey stock. There you can use chicken stock, turkey stock, vegetable stock, just put a little stock over it. Because all I'm doing is basically stick this in the oven, like so, put it over, and then later I put it in the oven for a couple of minutes, literally, because the turkey is ready cooked, the spinach is ready cooked, it doesn't need any more cooking time. So I'm gonna put this on here, I'm gonna heat up this grill blade, now, we're gonna do something which is actually the easiest of all of them. And what I'm using is just a whole wheat wrap. Now, the turkey I use for that, I already cut before, over here. So I have some nice turkey slices. I put a turkey on the bottom, like so, smaller turkey here. I have some bean sprouts, or any sprouts. Any sprouts can work, sprouts on top. I got my avocado, and the avocado, for this one, I'm gonna just cut it in half. And again, just take it out, like you see me do it before, lay it right over, one. Avocado is a superfood as well. This one over here, what makes it really nice is the freshness of the, uh, the pickle, uh, the pickle, sorry, the cucumber. And the cucumber, let me cut. All right. Want to get the kebab on the grill. Going back to my to my wrap. Now, I like seedless cucumbers for that. 
And even seedless cucumbers, they sell them seedless, they may have seeds in there. So I, well, I peel them down like that. You can now do two things. You can julienne it. It's a quick, just quick rough chop. Lay it over. I got a couple tomato. Sometimes I put tomato, sometimes I don't. Today I feel like a tomato, I put it in here. Since tomato is not a superfood, I want to incorporate it as much as I can. If you, you know, if you would pack this for lunch, then you maybe omit the tomato. But also you want to keep it dry and make it wet. Now if you eat it right away, sometimes what you can do, you can also put a little bit of hoagie dressing on there. It works extremely well. Now, many times people say onion. Do you like onion? I put a little onion in there today because I like a little onion in there, just a little bit. And then the iceberg lettuce, which is, in my opinion, the most uh, versatile of the lettuces because it really holds up big time. Any lettuce you like, there is no right, no wrong, none whatsoever. The lettuce here, just put a couple of pieces over like that and uh, you're in business. Obviously, everybody knows what to do next. A couple more bean sprouts on top. And here we go, you wanna rub the sides and then we're gonna come from the, from the back. We're gonna make it really tight. I mean, this is super, super duper, super duper wrap. There we go. Beautiful. When you do the wrap, I always prefer that you cut it on a bias. Looks kind of a little pretty. I've got to watch my kebab here. Now be careful here. The flavor is perfect for summertime, but on a barbecue grill. But what's happened with this when you eat it later, this is when the flavor comes about. So let's split up the wrap quick so we have one thing out of the way. So I cut my wrap on a bias, which means just like so. I have a plate here already. Put one down. The other one up, isn't that beautiful? With little sprouts on the side here. Make it look pretty. I have a couple of cherry tomatoes in here. And you're in business. There we go, there we go, first piece. Now, we're gonna work on the main dish, which is my turkey. As I mentioned to you, you just put it in the oven for a little bit. So literally, I can just stick it in the oven for literally a couple of minutes, all it takes. I look tired to you this morning. It's not because I ate turkey, and it's actually not even so. People think that the turkey is, is a myth to make you uh, sleepy. That's not so at all. It's when people eat too much at Thanksgiving that makes them sleepy. So I have my potatoes, sweet potato. So I want to just take that, and I make two little dollops on here. One, another dollop on here. Now the beauty about this dish is, look at how, how clean. And now the only thing is that I couldn't find, I admit to it, I gotta find everything. I would do a couple of uh, cranberries around, but now what I'm doing here, to finish it up just a little bit, just literally a little bit of the stock over it. Just a little bit. There we go. That is the flavor of Thanksgiving without the the calories or the things that are not good for you attached to it. All right, let me shut this down here. Okay, I move this over to the table. One second, put a little parsley in here. Looking for my parsley, All right here we go. Here, a little parsley. You know, turkey has iron, magnesium, and zinc all in there, so it's very good for you. I mean, seriously, take a look at this dish. Isn't it just screams, eat me, and it screams healthy. Look at it. Absolutely beautiful.
Boy, look at my kebabs. They're cooking up a storm. Remember, the turkey is already cooked, so it doesn't take much. Put it, put it on, the, on my plate. I have uh, some sauce that I reserved before, which is the same sauce of the marinade. I'm just gonna bring that over. You don't have to worry about germs at all with cooked meat, or not as much as with fresh meat. And also, I think it makes just a spectacular uh, presentation. It's beautiful. And what I wanna decorate that since I have the bean sprouts on the set, make a little bit of bean sprouts, and then I wanna decorate it with a beautiful, let's see here, beautiful superfood that is not readily available. Henceforth, I don't really promote it so much because it's very expensive and difficult to find. But for this one here, it just screams for a dragon food. So a little dragon food on the side and this one over here. You can use it as a salad, whatever you want, but I just, I just like the, the creativity of those kebabs. I mean, I don't know where you, what you're saying, but to me, it's just beautiful. And the colors are vibrant and the flavors are vibrant and it's just so easy to make. I mean, here, you watch me making this in lifetime. Obviously the wrap is the, is the easy one. The wrap, the turkey, my traditional Thanksgiving locale. And here is the turkey kebab. You know, when cooking with turkey, uh, come out of the box, <laughs> literally. Uh, don't be afraid. Uh, try new spices, try new presentations, try a different look. Imagine your family comes home and you have this on the table. It's beautiful. Now, you could serve some starch on the side, like, for instance, a quinoa or a couscous. This one over here, some cranberry chili on the side, whatever you like. So let me recap uh, my three different turkey creations. And you know, turkey, obviously, we already know, is well established, it's really, really good for you. It's as lean as a protein you can find. The wrap, no big deal anymore, everybody makes wraps, everybody. So it's not like in the old days, that was a novelty item. I wanted to show it quick because it's so easy. Mm. Much lower carb than the normal sandwiches, and the flavor is very good, and especially what I like on it is the cucumber. It really gets it on the avocado. Here, the turkey doesn't need much introduction. What is unique is that the sweet potato on the bottom, I kept it very lean and very clean. Little skin milk, but still the ginger, the nutmeg, and a little bit of the brown sugar makes it good. The, the spinach and, and, and leaf makes a nice color to it, and it's really easy to make. Now, you saw when I put it in the oven. Once the spinach is cooked and this dish is wrapped, you can serve dinner in minutes because you can make it all ahead of time. My favorite, obviously, is the turkey kebab. And the turkey kebab, what makes it unique, is that the turkey is a processed turkey, so it's safe for you. You don't have to worry about it. Cuts back on cooking time. You put it on your grill in the summer. You make this beautiful marinade. Mm. Oh, turkey boosts immunity and also regulates uh, blood pressure. And this one reminds me so much of my days in Malaysia because of the lemongrass and the ginger incorporated into it. And I think uh, it's a pretty uh, presentation, I may must say myself. Try to use turkey when you're looking for protein instead of red meat, anytime. Thank you for watching my show on turkey today, and I hope you'll be back for another episode of Superfoods with Wallace Day.